Well, look, I, I can't tell you much of the detail, but I can tell you that I think it's been a very successful two days again. The commitment of all of the people sitting around the table, whether it's in the context of the UK-EU negotiation or whether it's in the context of the peripheral negotiations that we have to ensure that this is going to actually work, everybody is trying to ensure that we get that. Everybody's negotiating hard, trying to achieve objectives which are common between us and some which are designed to achieve more for each of our particular sides. That's normal, that's why it's a negotiation. But these past two days have been no different. Everybody has tried their best to ensure that we edged ever more closer together. And, and I think that we are still on the basis of what I've seen for the past 48 hours, trying to work towards an early agreement and hoping that that will be possible. And, and the model works on the basis of there not being an extension of Schengen to Gibraltar. So Schengen will not start at Europa Point or in the middle of the strait where our territorial sea ends. Uh, Schengen will still start at the frontier with Spain. But entry into Gibraltar, which will be a separate immigration zone, will enable you to have free access into the Schengen zone also, which will continue to be an adjacent immigration zone. So this is creating what we called, for shorthand purposes, a common travel area between Gibraltar, which is one immigration zone, and Schengen, not Gibraltar joining Schengen. So what we've always been also at pains to say in that context is that you have two borders. You don't have one border as you have in the rest of Schengen. You have one Schengen border. You go into Spain and you're in France. You go into Germany and you're in Belgium. Here you have two borders. You have to pass the Gibraltar border and you have to pass the Schengen entry border. What we're going to do and what we set out of the New Year's Eve framework agreement that we would do is ensure that we provide those in a way that doesn't offend the sensitivities of either Spain, which is a neighbouring Schengen state, or the sensitivities of Gibraltar. And the way that that is going to work and how that is going to be designed is one of the things that we are in the process of agreeing. It's no secret to say that there would be different models that will work for each side. Some of the models that work for one of the sides may not work for the other, and we have to find the model that will work for all of us. And detailed announcements about how these things will work will be made when the arrangements have been finally agreed by the two relevant parties, which are the United Kingdom and the European Union, because they are the ones who are responsible for Schengen. Of course, because Spain is a neighbouring member state, we've always acknowledged that Spain has responsibility for entry into Schengen through Spain, and they will have to have the discharge of that responsibility in a way that is down to, to them to decide is appropriate. And we have also agreed, in the context of the New Year's Eve agreement, that Frontex would be discharging some of those responsibilities in order to assist us to get away from some of the areas of potential disagreement because of sensitivity.